Hello and welcome to the video. Today we are going to take a look what's new in Adobe After Effects CC 2019 release. First of all, I will update my Quadro video card driver. Here we go. Now I have all the advantage of the Mercury GPU acceleration. First, reinvented Puppet Pen tool. So let's open Secret Project by pressing Alt or Click in About menu. And as we see, this octopus character is created using the reinvented puppet pin tool. Now you can rotate pins, scale them, and do all that stuff. Cool, but let's face the truth. You will never use it since uh, you have latest Duic Basel script installed. That new Puppet Pin tool can be used when animating something basic and can be useful when you are in time travel. Second, Mocha is now part of After Effects and you even don't have to open separate application. If you need full Mocha interface, you open it by clicking on the logo and any file type you bring to After Effects can be used by Mocha plugin. Mocha now uses GPU accelerated planar tracking engine that significantly speeds up tracking. Plugin is not the same as the standalone version, which adds additional tools and workflows, including automatic object removal with the remove module, lens calibration, the insert model with mesh warper, 3D camera solver. So if you need full version of Mocha, go get it on Boris FX website. Third. Responsive Design Time Stretch In the new version of After Effects you can do some cool things with footage and nested comps. For example, alter drag out or in point of a layer to stretch it. Also, you can protect some areas inside precomp. Set the marker with new menu command for intro, outro and other parts. Now when I stretch the precomp, these areas won't be affected. Fourth, new JavaScript engine and expression improvements. As you may know, After Effects is an aged veteran of motion graphics applications, and this year is actually 25th anniversary of the application. Today, Adobe managed to update JavaScript engine developed in 1999 to a modern one. On Windows, After Effects uses the Wii 8 open source JavaScript engine. On Mac OS, After Effects uses the JavaScript core framework. They added new features useful for programmers such as higher mathematical precision in floating point operations, array and string methods from modern JavaScript. Other modern JavaScript objects like type of arrays, usage, usage of keywords, let and const, and many other additions. Now you can toggle between on and off expressions from layer menu. CC 2019 version brings new methods and attributes such as hex to RGB that converts hexadecimal color values to RGBI color values and composition marker protected region attribute mentioned before. Fifth, 180 degrees VR support. For those who don't want to make useless job that no one see, Adobe noticed that people who watch VR video rarely look back, uh, so all you gonna do is uh, half of 360 degrees sphere and still get nice result. Sixth, new GPU accelerated effects. Adobe is on their way to make After Effects faster with GPU acceleration. Color balance curves, fill, exposure, linear wipe, nose, tritone, set mat, Venetian blinds, all these effects now GPU accelerated. And I suppose the goal is to make all the effects as much fast. Unfortunately, the 3D ray traced composition renderer has been deprecated and will be excluded in future versions. Say goodbye to ray tracing, say hello to Cinema 4D. Seventh. Export and import from Animate and XD. What is cool about Adobe products is that you have opportunity to use files created in different applications. You can open After Effects, Illustrator, Photoshop files, both in After Effects and Premiere. Today you can animate XD artboards inside your After Effects project. 
that is very cool feature for web designers and UX specialists who want to present their job in the best way. Also, you can import whole animate project in After Effects. You will get all the structure, layer names, etc. Unfortunately, you won't see any keyframes, which is strange for me. Eighth, precious marker position. That's it. Just click on the marker and set its position. Ninth, markers improvements. In a new version of After Effects, you will find a new menu for markers. It allows you to access the following commands for layers markers. Add marker, update marker from source, lock markers and delete all markers. You can now also assign or modify keyboard shortcuts for these commands. By the way, now you set the marker just by clicking marker icon instead of dragging. Tenth, new install script UI system. Actually, this is not the new feature. But see how easy you can drop any script right inside the project. If you hold Shift key, the script will be copied in Scripts UI folder and appears after a start. The ability to install scripts to the user's preferences folder by drag and drop was introduced in After Effects 12.2 release and has changed because of support for custom expressions function libraries in GSX files. Dragging and dropping a GSX file into the project panel without holding a modifier key now imports that file as a data source footage item instead of installing it as a script. And what is your opinion about new version of After Effects? Let's discuss in comments.